Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the YouTube series where I break down some effects or transitions that other editors use. For this tutorial, I got a lot of comments asking for me to copy Heiko zooms, so let me show you how he does it. Okay, so once you're in the After Effects, you're gonna create a new composition. You can copy my settings. And now we're gonna import your song. Okay, so now we're gonna drag the song into the composition. Double click the L letter. If your waveform doesn't look like mine, just uh, be sure to go on these three lines right here and uncheck rectified audio waveforms. So I mark my beats. I'm not gonna play it because of copyright. And uh, now we're gonna begin with our clip and everything. So now we're gonna import your PNG or animation or whatever you want and we're gonna create a clip. Okay, so I chose this animation of Toji. I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit and I'm gonna press Control alt t to timer map it. I'm gonna just make it a little bit faster, you know, so maybe like this. Yeah, it's a bit faster, so it's good. I'm gonna delete this, then I'm gonna pre-compose this. No, actually before that, I'm gonna add key light and I'm gonna check the green part so it removes and uh, depending on the clip I recommend you play with this so it looks normal because uh, in most cases it doesn't look normal so make sure to play with that I'm gonna pre-compose this again and now I'm gonna add my aura light sweeps coloring and stuff like that Okay, so now that I have my whole clip uh, ready to go, so here's how it looks. We're gonna start with the transitions. So this is the first clip. We're gonna need to create a lot more of these clips, but we're gonna do that later. So we're gonna do the transition now. Um, as you can see, I turned on the motion blur and we're gonna add a couple of nulls. We're gonna pair them like this. And we're gonna press scale and we're gonna move this to the very end. We're gonna zoom this in. Uh, apply this graph and do the same right here so like this maybe a bit more and we're gonna do this graph so now as you can see this looks absolutely horrible so what you're gonna do is select the whole scale we're gonna go to the graph editor we're gonna go to the middle where it starts zooming in again and we're gonna extend this a little bit so maybe this is enough because uh, you can you can't fully see the edges but that's what we want now we're gonna select the second scale and now we're gonna select this and now we're gonna drag it again almost to the max so like this yeah 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 yeah. this is perfect we can see a bit of um outlines but we can fix that we're just gonna drag this a little bit like this and as you can see we have uh, our first Heiko clip zoom so let's move to the second one Okay, so I'm going to be a lazy guy. As you can see, I copied the same clip over and over again. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay, so as you can see, I have four same clips. But I'm just going to show you how the zooms work and that's it. So as you can see, we have our first clip. So now we're going to move to the second one. We're going to pre-compose this again. And we're going to enable motion blur. Add two nodes again. And we're going to pair it. So now we're going to drag this like this maybe and we're gonna apply this graph but of course this is not the end and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do something like that and apply this graph yeah so as you can see this looks absolutely horrible once again but we're gonna fix that in a minute so we're gonna extend this a little bit and we're gonna do the same here so it zooms in a little bit you know Maybe this is a bit too slow, but you can fix that. I'm gonna add motion tile. I can see a bit of motion tile here, so I'm just gonna do it like this maybe. And I'm gonna just do it like that. So I don't basically need these two clips to show you what else you can do because this is basically it. Um, now I'm just gonna add some finishing touches. So I'm just gonna add adjustment layer. I'm gonna add warp fisheye minus 100 and I'm gonna do like zero here and I'm gonna do like this kind of graph so now we have this and I'm gonna do the same here
So yeah, but I'm gonna apply the sharper graph. And now we have this. I don't know if this looks good for you, but it looks good for me. In the zoom in clip, we're gonna use optics compensation. So we're just gonna click this to zero. We're gonna do 100 here and maybe do like something like this graph, maybe a bit sharper. Something like that. No, we should do it like this. Yeah, and we're gonna do the same here. So in order for the transition to be a little bit smoother, I'm just gonna keyframe the opacity with this to zero and copy and paste it right here. So we're gonna apply CCY time right here. Um, we're gonna keep it as this and I'm gonna add hue and saturation. I'm just gonna color it a little bit like maybe a bit of purple, something like this maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, and as you can see, this doesn't look too bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my personal favorite, that is shakes and half tones. So I'm just gonna quit the adjustment layer like this. I'm just gonna delete this because we're gonna copy the shake. I'm gonna add twitch, keyframe the amount from 100 to zero. I'm gonna put this sharp graph. I'm gonna do the 10 and I'm gonna uh, check light and slide. And now we have the basic shake. I'm just gonna add a little one framer, like the half tone. I'm gonna use half tone color for this. I think Heiko uses uh, half tone color, by the way. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm pretty sure because look. Now if we loop it, oopsie, my bad. Okay, so this is how I do the high cool transitions and shakes and one framers. And yeah, I hope you learned something and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.